Hi, it's Zeno, Warthog Princess, and welcome back. This video is a follow-up to our live video from yesterday, where together we picked what bag and what accessories we might use to transition into. So that's what we're gonna do today, is to put all that together and make that transition. A couple of alibis before we get started. Um, first of all, I do apologize once again that it was a little late getting started. I actually was early, but I had some technical difficulties and some lessons learned, so that problem is solved for the future. If you missed it, um, we missed you too, and we all, I think, look forward to doing this more in the future, so hopefully you'll catch some um, coming ahead. Um, also, as I was putting things away last night, I found my tartan plaid zip thing, my little coin purse thing with the strap. I found it, so now I do have two of those. Um, I knew I had it, I just couldn't find where I put it away, and it was somewhere non-standard on the shelf. Um, also, I tried on the replay video to show the comments on the side. I haven't been able to do that. I don't know why, it's a YouTube thing. Um, but then you can see the real-time comments as the video is playing. So I'll continue to work on that. But hopefully for those of you that missed it, you could still see the full conversation that took place. And also last night we forgot a notebook. And I did add those in here, so you'll see when we get to it. So that's all the alibis up front. Let's take a look. So this is the yes pile, if you will. This is my factory style peacock garden thingy. Um, so I'm gonna set that, uh, I'm gonna set over here for a second. So the first thing right off the top is the current bag that we're in. I'm in the Dory from Love in the tartan plaid. There are a bunch of extras kind of thrown in and on. So I have my hand sanitizer over here. The little candy cane gingerbread man, that's Bath and Body Works. On this side I have some dangle charms on a key ring. And I used some of my own cable clips to put them on. And the cable clips are kind of cool. They are just a circular thing that you have to put it in at 90 degrees, slide it to the end, and then flip lock so they stay latched. So they're pretty secure. And then there's my dangles, my holiday dangles. Yay! Okay, so those are off since we're moving out. The other thing I added was I have my grab and go, just a zip ID and lanyard. This is the tan color in Performance Twill, and I know tan is not the name of it. I cannot remember, but that's okay. If you know it, feel free. Put it in the comments. I have a chapstick holder from Stephanie Dawn, and I have my truck key and my mail keys. So it's not a huge thing, but it's everything I need to grab and go to pickleball or the dog park or run into a store really quick, things like that. All right, um, I have a Splits XL in black from Lug. I have stained glass medallion clear pouch, mini pouch I think it's called, and then I have the little mini cosmetic, which is great catch-all. I love that little piece. I wish Vera had this in a lot more patterns because I would use the heck out of it. Um, then I have the rest of my keys. Mostly I don't need them all the time, but you do. So I have my loyalty tag bag charm. I have my little Vera pen with the stylus on it. I have house keys, gate keys, whatever. And then I have my medic alert thing. So we got that. That was on the key bungee. And then in the clear ID pouch, I have some hand sanitizer wipes. And in the back pockets, I think I added some random things. I have a little mini pen, pencil, notebook, and um, utility card. So this is one of those multi-tool card things. Yeah, I can't find the one I had a while back. I don't know what happened to it. Okay, that is not quite everything. In the side soft pocket, I had a pair of glasses. Now these are prescription sunglasses. We're gonna keep those in there. All right. So set that bag aside. This is what needs to move into the new bag. So we'll move it over to the side here for a second. Let's look at what we picked. This is exciting. Y'all did a great job, by the way. 
So let's just put it all on the table, literally. <laughs> Piggy took a flying leap off the table. I gotta grab Piggy. Okay, so as we decide what we're not using, then we can just put it back into the bag. Come on, baby. Hi, 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 Piggy. You wanna say hi, Kelly? Come on. Come on. Yes. Kelly's so helpful. Yes. I know. Licky, licky, licky. I know. Okay, here. All right, so Piggy. Piggy that fell off. Um, all right, so let's start with the bag. The bag that was chosen is the Vera Bradley Utility Tote in Java Navy Camo. Actually, Utility Tote was the first thing. This just happens to be the only pattern I have in that bag. So we went with it. And thankfully, I have lots of matchy-matchy accessories to go with it. I'm gonna take all the tags off. There's one, I think there's another one. Somewhere there's another tag. Tag to tag, here it is. Okay, this bag is cotton. It's cotton reimagined or recycled cotton or consciously crafted, whatever. There's, there's several different ways here it refers to that fabrication. It is padded, but not quilted. So it does have some, you know, depth to the material. It, it does have quilting on the straps. Um, but let's take another quick look at this bag before we start to move into it, in case you missed it last night. We have a big slip pocket on the front. We have a snap flat pocket on the front. Has that plasticky thing on the snap. I'll have to get that later, I can't, can't get it. So we got that, we got the big zipper here, up and around on that front pocket. Inside, we have two slips and lots of space, so I'll leave that unzipped so we can move in. There's no other front pocket. There's cargo pockets on each side. This side has a tightening strap. There is a big slip on the back, and it has a magnetic closure. Nice big slip, really big slip. And inside, it has only a privacy zipper pocket. So definitely the interior will need pouches. Thankfully, we have a few options. So let me set this aside for a moment, and let's pick some accessories. Let's review what we got first. All the way through, we have the Lug Tackle four-piece pouch set in metallic pearl. We have a RFID wristlet, Java Navy Camo. We have a cosmetic, medium cosmetic in classic navy. We have a zip around essential oil case, Java Navy camo, a coin purse, a zip ID, and a lanyard, all in that. We have a classic navy velvet clamshell. We have a lug mini choo-choo in navy. We have the RFID smartphone wristlet. That's gonna be our wallet. And we have, okay, two things as I was putting things away, I realized, I thought I did have some more accessories, but anyways, two more pieces of Java Navy camo that we did not even talk about last night, but they were on the shelf in the back room. Go figure that I get lost back there. But I have the mini cosmetic and I have the uh, tech case, I think it's called. Zip around mini tech case. These are perfect options for a bag, specifically this bag. So that is good. We can add those to the mix. And then um, we did grab the Navy Coupe from Lug and that matches the mini choo-choo. Sunglass case, we grabbed two things, sunglasses, eyeglasses, whatever. We grabbed the Chandelier Noir factory style pinch top and we grabbed the Stephanie Dawn slip in. And this one matches better, but we have some options there. And then we grabbed the Metro XL in black. We grabbed the doggy bag charms. Um, the consensus was the dark, but we went ahead and kept the light one in there. I don't think I need two, but yeah, maybe. Maybe we'll have a double doggy. 
We got the piggy coin purse, the silicone one. I grabbed a different um, chapstick holder because this one um, kind of matches or coordinates. So I will probably take that along. I also grabbed, because we mentioned it, we talked about the lug coin purses, uh, but we didn't get into them for whatever reason. Sorry, I got distracted. But I did grab one. I grabbed the Lily, Lily, blue, I don't know, it's, it's Lily, it's not Lily Gray, but anyway, it's the Lily something, Lily pattern, and I grabbed that one because even though it doesn't match, it's the most close, yeah, so it is, we definitely went with a matchy-matchy coordinating thing, so we got that, and the notebooks, okay, so first and foremost, this is my first choice for my purse notebooks, this is the Vera Bradley Journal with Pen in Java Navy Camo, it's just a little notebook, it's got its own binding. The binding actually has a space. It comes with a little pen and it has an elastic to kind of keep the pages together so it's not gonna get all messed up. Or you can put loose items in there and secure them. So these I use a lot. I have mm, eight or 10 of them and I do use them. And then I also in this pattern had something that's not common. Maybe they'll come out with some more. The triple notebook set, small, medium and large notebooks. So the small and the medium are coordinating patterns, and the large one is, of course, the Java Navy camo. The medium is the interior, and this one's just a coordinating one. So I have those. I think even though we're in a big bag, this isn't my preference for today's bag. So I'm going to go ahead and put this aside straight away. And we will put this as a yes in here. Um, I'm also choosing this sunglass case because we went so much with the matchy-matchy, even so it still stands out. So this one is going to be this, the eyeglass case. So I will just go ahead and move it into that right away. Put that in the no and that in the no. Um, let's start with, oh, and the pen, sorry. We have the Java Navy camo pen, yay! Um, thank you all for keeping me on track last night with things I had missed, like the pen um, and the notebook. I also am going to say yes to the chapstick holder. So those two things are going in the yes pile. Piggy is the uh, wild card. Piggy is going to stay, I think, um, certainly for now. Uh, and the dog, we already agreed. And I'm gonna stick with the dark one, reserve the right to reach back for the light one again. Okay, we got a wallet. I gotta take the tags off of that. And where's the other tag? Inside, maybe? Yep, inside. Do, do, do. <coughs> Goodness, some of those things are hard to come off. I guess I could cut them. That would be easier. I do have a little bit of a deep, sexy voice today as a joke, but uh, maybe just because I just woke up. I'm not sick or anything. Um, okay, so we have the wallet option. We do have a coin purse, coin purse, but honestly, I think I'm gonna set it aside because I like it, I love them. Can go on the outside as well, but right now I just have so many things. Um, yeah, so wallet, what do we got? We got the zip ID and lanyard, we got two small cases. This two small things, does not translate to all of this, but this was also a minimalist, not minimalist, but a low load in the smaller bag. So what I've also done is I've brought out the bag change basket, which is a basket my aunt actually made. Um, but anyway, I have some things in here that go in and out of purses at any given time. So some things in here will end up in the basket and vice versa. One thing I wanted to grab was one of my Vera Bradley manicure kits. This one is in Holland Garden. It doesn't really match, but it's the closest match I have. So that will go into the bag. Um, I have some hand sanitizer lotion. I sanitize all the time because if I get a cold, I get sick and that's a bad thing for me. So even before COVID, certainly after COVID, but I need to maybe add that back in since it's a big enough bag. 
have a fan because menopause and I'm hot-blooded anyways. I have some business cards. Not gonna put all of them in, but I'll need to figure that out. I think um, maybe I have so many packs of gum in here. Uh, maybe this one that's already opened. We've got hand sanitizer wipes. We've got, oh my goodness, there's so much gum in here. Okay. Okay, I think that might be all I need right now. Okay. So, let's go back to what we're doing. We have a mini cosmetic. That's pretty much a yes, because very classic for me. Uh, we got the zip ID and lanyard, that's a yes. The tech case, the clamshell, and these two items, I think is what we might be down to for the next. The coin purse, I'm gonna say yes to. And I'm sorry, lug fans, but I think these two pieces are out and we're gonna say goodbye to the medium cosmetic. We have more items than we need. Uh, by Metro. It's, it's an odd item color. Uh, okay, we're gonna stick with the matchy-matchy coordinating. So I'm just gonna leave these three things, four things, right here for a sec. Let's start moving, actual moving. And this one, I really want to use. I really don't need to use. Maybe the small pouch. We shall see. Okay, so first let's do the easy part. We got the zip ID and lanyard. Got tags off. And where's the zip ID? Get that tag off. I'm realizing at this moment I should have scrubbed last night and taken all the tags off. But I didn't know what we we're gonna use. Okay, so when I'm using these two items together and I'm gonna use it the way I'm using it, I like to hook the two loops together and leave the clip free for add-ons. Um, it may or may not make sense to you the way I do that, but it does make sense to me. Plus, it's more secure. You know, I don't have to worry about that clip coming undone for my primary things like money, credit cards, ID, you know. So to me, oops, I just undid what I did. Ooh, that was weird. Okay, let me try that again. These are tight when they're newer, but they do work. Okay, there we go. Now we're connected. Dun, 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 dun. Um, yeah, so we got the zip ID and lanyard, and we're switching chapstick holders. And in here, I just have a EOS lip balm, the soft mint one. I need a little now. Well, no. Love your lips. All right. So we'll put that in here. I love these little chapstick holders. I, they're great, like hands-free. You're camping. You just have them on a lanyard, that kind of thing. We're just going to put that on the loop. And I think, actually, that kind of matches really nicely. Brings out the floral aspects of the pattern. Okay, so now this one is cleared off, not cleared out. And I'll just hook the keys right on here. Ta -da. And inside I have some cash and some cards. Ooh, ooh. not on the floor. <laughs> Kelly is sprawled out like spread. She's not interested today. It's too early. So I have a credit card, an ID card, and a driver's license. So I'll just put those right in here. Put the cash behind it. There we go. So I have that ready. In this bag, where am I going to put that? I think. Grab and go. Hmm. I might just throw it in the back pocket. Just make that be its own space. Okay. I did not grab a external hand sanitizer. I meant to, but that's okay. I'm gonna just put this inside and 
I think I'm going to put this in that back pocket as well for now because those are quick grab we got the dark doggy if I'm carrying the bag like this I'll put the doggy on the front hey doggy yay okay and in the doggy I'm going to put my air pods which are currently this is my tech case at the moment so got my AirPod Pro Let's see, hopefully they fit. If they don't, we got options. They, ooh. They do fit, but it's a tight fit. It's a tight fit, but it fits. Yay, so AirPods. And business cards. So I do have a second Java Navy Camo Zip ID. Not going to go grab that. What I think I'm going to do is put business cards in here after I clean out the stuff that's in here. <laughs> all right. This is exciting because this is a lot of tags at one time pulling off all the new because I pull them off when I use something for the first time. This is a lot of new things into the mix, which is always fun. Java Navy Camo is a fairly new pattern. It is newly retired, so I did stock up on a few things. And when it started to close out. All right, business cards, what do we have? We have options here. First of all, it's not just business. I don't really have a business per se. Oh, these ones don't go in here, these ones are outgoing. Incoming, I mean, incoming. Go there. Okay, so I have my one with my whole address. I have my social media one. So I'll grab a few of each of those. And then I also have, okay, that's also incoming. Ah! These are a couple of my friends' business cards for cabinet designer. These are some business cards that aren't business cards at all. They're the love, feel good, share the love cards, all these different sayings and things. So I always try to keep some of those with me as well. And I actually have a ton of them now. They come with different pieces. I have some from Erin Condren as well. So I'm gonna take that whole stack. Where are these big ones? Oh, Erin Condren ones. So I'm gonna take that whole stack because we have a big card case of sorts. And I'm gonna put those in the slip pocket in this coin purse. No, I lied. They don't fit very well there. So they're going in the main part. Then I'll have, uh, I think, Five of each of my cards. One, two, three, four, five. That's plenty. On a daily, when I'm not traveling, I'm not giving out that many. I do also have somewhere, let's see, is it in here? I have some, not in here. I can clean that out as well. So many cards. Okay, so these can go back in the bag. Um, I don't know where my ambassador card is. It just has my code on it, so I can hand it to people. But I can certainly give them one of these with the code written on it. And now these still don't fit very well in that side pocket, but I'm going to put them in there. No, I'm not. They don't fit. So they'll all be in the midsection together, one big bunch of cards. But this, um, aside from that slip not being perfect to separate them, this is a perfect size for what I've done there. So yay. Good pattern placement too. Nice. All right. So that's going in the bag. I think that's going in the snack pocket. That would go in the snap pocket. Then the wallet transition, I'll move the stuff over momentarily, but the wallet's gonna go in the front zip, I think. No, just gonna go main pocket, Bonk. fan, main pocket, notebook, 
is going to go in the front zipper slip section. Oh, except I need to open this. And the pin as well. Okay. Well, I'll open it after because that's going to be a pain. All right. Put that in and the pen right there with it. There's not a pen slot, but I can put the pen clipped on the corner of that pocket and the notebook's right in that slip right there, so that's great. The other slip there is gonna be my manicure kit. And mm -hmm. we got Piggy. Piggy's gonna go inside, just jolt. All right, so what do we need? We've got tech. And we've got miscellaneous and some hand wipes will go in there and the utility card. So let's dump out the tech. What do I have? I have my external magnet battery bank, the charging cord for it, a screen wipe. I've got my little thing that can make my phone hands free. And then I have the little magnet stand that you can use with the phone and I usually store it right there okay so that's empty and then the miscellaneous we have lots of stuff look how perfect this little thing is so organized too in the top zipper section I have Listerine breath strips I've got in the main part a couple of hair ties some aquaphor lip balm some tums in case who knows some other just in case meds, glucose tabs, dental floss toothpicks, gum, mints, hand lotion, sunscreen, uh, ginger chew and a peppermint, just random, and a nail file, which can come out because I have another one <clears throat> in the kit. Okay, so that's empty. So what are we moving into? We need a, oh, and the sunglass case here. We already know about this. This one, I'm going to put in this pocket up front and the cargo on the side. Okay, so tech, I think I'm gonna put in the tech pouch. Oh, more tags, oh my goodness. Sorry. This is a little bit more protracted than normal. Oh my gosh, get out. Uh-oh. That tag thing is not wanting to leave. There we go. Another tag. Why can't they just put all the tags on one string? Why are they gonna have two separate tag things? Just to tell me all about your cotton reimagine. Okay. So the tech case has a zipper section here, a elastic. On the other side, it has two elastics and a slip here. And in there is a scent strip, okay. So tech, we've got the battery piece, which I think I'm just gonna put in this big slip. The screen wipe can go in the mesh part. The hands-free piece also in the mesh part, the cord in the mesh part. And that's it for tech, hmm. So, Yeah, that's it for tech. Fits perfectly, all secure. I'm gonna zip that up and put it in the main pocket. So we've got a lot of miscellaneous stuff. This card, where do I want this card? Last time I lost it, so I don't wanna lose it. All right, I think we're gonna go with this one. Yeah, Ugh, more tags, oh my goodness. I definitely regret not scrubbing that first. Hope you all are having a great morning so far and are off to a wonderful day. Happy Monday. Um, Monday, Monday. Just another manic Monday. Oh, wish it was Sunday. All right, I'm gonna put a bunch of hand sanitizer wipes in the front pocket here. Does that make sense to me? And I'm also gonna put my utility tool in there. 
In the main section, it is plastic lined. So I'm gonna put all these lotions and things. This is tall enough, I think they can stand up. We'll see. They kind of stick to the plastic. All right. Glucose tabs, dental floss, toothpicks, gum and mints. We might go with another thing. And then all the random food related mouth items. Perfect. That all fits in there just perfectly. It's not too crowded. There is more room. Oh, where is that zipper? Oh, okay. So that is a well-filled pouch into the bag. So, oops, I have keys that still need to go in there. And they are gonna go in the zipper pocket on the back. So these are keys I need, but I don't need all the time. But that way they're with me. Okay, and hopefully that doesn't weigh down the back of the bag. So, we have gum and mints. And I might go back and pull those breath strips. We have this option or the clamshell, I think, are the best two choices. I think if this fits, I'm going to go with the clamshell. I love my velvet clamshell. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let me put the breath stuff in here as well. Breath strips. There we go. Okay. So that fits very nicely. This little tiny thing holds a lot, really, but yay, velvet, soft. Okay, very organized, and we still have a bunch of items. Yeah, there is lots and lots of room in this bag, for sure. I may come back and add more things. I'm in and out of things all the time. I have my crossbody strap. Let's see. Move all the items we're not using. Um, there we go. Okay. Hey, Kelly. All right, so this is the bag. Yay. It is a big bag for sure. But definitely plenty of space. It has that other shoulder strap, crossbody strap. Let's see how we like it crossbody. It is a little higher than I want, but it will work great. I can reach to the bottom of the bag, so anything that's in here I can get to. All the pockets, everything, so that's good. Glasses are where I want them. Yeah, so there we go. I wish this was a little bit adjustable. It is not, it is set length. So, there you go. If I'm carrying it by the handles and just letting it hang, that strap does not touch the ground, so that's good. I don't have to worry about tucking it in when I'm moving around. But it is very comfortable. This padded, definitely nice. Yeah, I'm loving the bag. So thank you all for helping me choose. You did a great job, and I look forward to having a lot more fun with y'all in the future. Bye for now. Have a great week.